Good morning, friends, and welcome to Tuesday, July 21st. And thanks to Barb Baker to get us started this morning. Devotions from the Upper Room Disciplines by Robert Morse. And our scripture is verse 10, Psalm 105, 1 to 11. Oh, give thanks to the Lord and call on his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, and tell of his wonderful works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Remember the wonderful works he has done, his miracles and the judgments he has uttered. O offspring of his servant Abraham, children of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. His, he is mindful of his covenant forever of the word that he has commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant that he made with Abraham, his sworn promise to Isaac, which he confirmed to Jacob as a statute, to Israel as an everlasting covenant, saying to you, I will give the land of Canaan as your portion for an inheritance. Praise the Lord. Thanks be. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. We've all known those who say that they love the whole human race, but seem to have difficulty interacting with individuals in front of them. Enduring relationships are specific, relational, and intentional. The God who loves the world gets specific about relationships by entering into covenants with individuals and nations to work for the well-being of all humanity. Psalm 105 is of one of many psalms that can celebrate God's covenant with Israel through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, a covenant that Paul insists includes any who share the faith of Abraham. As Christians, we understand God's choosing of Israel as neither arbitrary favoritism nor the disfranchising of the world. Rather, it's part of the divine strategy for the salvation of the world. God chooses Abraham and his clan as a pilot project for all of humanity, a light to the nations to show a real people struggling to grow into love and justice, mercy and kindness, God knows that we all need to survive and thrive. God knows and God chooses all of us to be included in a covenant designed to bring blessings to the world. God has a destiny for us if we will cooperate with it. 
as Israel's destiny was to learn how to walk God's path of human flourishing, so our destiny is to learn the steps that help us to grow as reflection of God's character revealed in Christ. As the acorn grows into the oak, so we are called to the fullness of Christ. Destiny is not fate but a destination to walk toward. Each of us will bring into play our different abilities and choices as we move toward that goal. As we face difficult choices, just as Israel did, even our distresses help us to find blessings and help. Let us pray. Your special love for all of us, O oh God, is exactly what you offer to all you hope that you love. Help us to see everyone that we meet with your eye of love. Amen. Our closing hymn with Esther Knopfinger is number 92, For the Beauty of the Earth. Love. Amen.